Hello and good evening guys. I finally made it into Universal Studios, barely by the skin of my teeth. Um, I'm here for the Stay and Scream, which if you guys don't know what that is, if you have a regular day ticket or you're an annual pass holder, you can go ahead and get in and stay with the crowd and then they will get you in the lines that are going to be designated spots for you to wait until the event actually starts. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and do and I think before I do that though, I want to head into the Universal Studios store, kind of see what they have. I've worn my Stranger Things hat and a um, little bit of a nod there since unfortunately we don't have a house this year so that is something I am super super bummed about so I'm sure I um, many people feel the same way so definitely we are here for tonight's events I'm so excited I can't wait to show you guys the scare zones I'm gonna go into some houses and try some really yummy food so I'm excited to take you guys along with me and check it out posters here those look cool Got the mummy. Awesome, awesome. And I love this shirt. So I think I'm going to get this one. I really like that one. It says, Every day is Halloween. And they got the weekend. It's awesome. It's a cool shirt. And that one is $30. Chucky magnet for your car. These are cool. There's some decal sheets right here. That's cool. Very nice. Aww. Love the little mouse in his pocket. That's adorable. Oh, trick or treat. Neat. Very cool. Checky. Oh, and they've got Halloween glass right here. Interesting. Wow. Halloween Horror Nights 2022. Very cool. A couple magnets here. So they got like. That's pretty cool looking. This is the monsters. And they got Chucky. Here's my little boo hat. Oh my goodness. He is 28. Very cool, nice hat. Oh, this is cool. We got a classic monsters cup. Nice. Uh, very cool. I like that one. And then they do have the pumpkin board. Tie dye drawstring bag down there. And this is kind of interesting. So you can get a Halloween Horror Nights 2022 Universal Monsters Artist Series poster. 24 by 30. It's $34. <laughs> These are cute. They light up. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's cute. Very, very cute. Nice. And then they do have this shirt as well. Neat. So that is the back. Very cool. It's got all the houses on it for this year. And then this is the front. It's got that on there, and it does say on the side of the sleeve here. Probably more next, 2022. Oh man, everybody's coming out. Here we go. <laughs> Most interested in since 
everybody's going towards the uh, front entrance there. Um, I figured it'd be good to go ahead and start here at Hollywood Boulevard, so that's what we're gonna do, because it looks exciting. Oh yeah. like fun. to um, Scarecrow Curse Oil. Um, so if you're hearing all the noise, that's everybody kind of like walking through the scare zone and the different scare actors that are performing and, and doing their job. So um, I think we'll go through there next when I'm done and kind of go towards the back. I'm gonna go around the opposite direction. So we didn't start at the very front where the Pumpkin Lord is and all that. We didn't start there. Um, I started at Hollywood Boulevard and went down uh, Graveyard Deadly and Rest. And as the night goes on, more of the characters are gonna come out and more stuff is gonna happen. So I'll definitely try to go through uh, the scare zones a few times throughout the evening so that you can kind of see what those look like. Um, but this is super exciting. Um, and I will tell you the event, you can get in at 6 p.m. and it does go until 2 a.m. So it goes for a pretty, pretty long length of time. So. Um, like I said, when I got here, I decided to go ahead and do the stay-in screen, which is where if you have a regular day ticket or you're an annual pass holder, you can go ahead and you can get in. Um, the cutoff is right at five o'clock though, so you have to be in the park before five or they will leave you um, waiting at the gates at the front entrance to the park to go ahead and let you in um, you know, with your Halloween Horror Nights ticket. So it's really, really cool. You just get, you kind of get like a little bit of a head start, which is really, really nice, especially if you guys are more into getting to the scare, you know, like the, um, going through the scare zones, of course, but then going to the um, haunted houses and stuff like that. So we're going to finish up the tamale and um, I'll be back with you guys to show you where we are headed next.
Avengers Legends Collide, The Weekend, After Hours Nightmare, Descendants of Constru Destruction, That Way, Bugs Eating Alive, and then the Halloween Nightmare Fuel, which is going to be the stage show. Right, looks like Universal Monsters is at 40. Okay guys, I just got out of the weekend's um, house and it was so good. It was amazing. Um, I was doing pretty good until the very last, literally last minute, um, one of the scare actors got me <laughs> on the way out. And the other thing that was really freaky was they actually have a part in there where it looks like a train is coming right at you. That scared the bejeepers out of me too. But it was a really, really good house. I highly recommend. Um, it was really cool um, as you're going through the queue outside. Um, it takes you all the way back through the DreamWorks area where they have the different DreamWorks characters stage um, during the day, regular daytime hours. Um, it takes you back um, in the back of that, uh, basically off to the side and into the backstage area where they have, you know, the, the big backstage buildings, basically. Um, so it takes you all the way through that. And I was pumped up because, of course, they're, you know, playing his music and all that good stuff. So it uh, made me feel like I was, like, right at a concert. So it was really, really cool. Um, and the other thing is I am just loving, um, I'm seeing so many people with so many really good costumes and so many people representing Stranger Things, which I really, really love. That's really, really cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and head into the Universal Legends, um, the Monsters uh, Collide House because it says it's down to a 25-minute wait. The weekend's house is up to 60 minutes so I made it in just in time so I think I'm gonna head in there because I want to try that one out um, and then the really cool thing is when you get out of both of these houses because they're placed back in here through um, the area where ET is at um, and the Curious George area more towards the back when you come out you're gonna come out through the ET follow it you know all the way through the backstage area and come out through the ET queue because that ride is closed during the party um, but that is basically where both of those kind of come out at so I'm gonna go ahead and head over there now and get in line for that and hopefully Hopefully it won't take 25 minutes because um, that's what it said for the weekend when I went in and I'd say it was roughly about 2025 so it was pretty accurate but that's where I'm gonna go ahead and head in now and I'll let you guys know what I think when I get out alrighty guys so I am out of Universal Monsters house and this is the line for kids on pizza for the pizza fries <laughs> um, so yeah the lines are starting to get longer as the night is progressing the Sun has pretty much almost set um, both of those houses are now up to 45 minutes, but what I want to do is um, I'm going to head this way to the Chucky booth because there is something there that I do want to try. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get that and try it out. Okay, so they got the Good Guys Burger and the Beignet, which looks, oh, I have a feeling this thing is going to be huge. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. What is in it? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Guess I'm gonna have to find out. And then this is the burger here. And let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, that's what the uh, burger looks like. It is a donut, like raspberry sauce, and pork belly, jalapenos, cheese, and crushed Fruit Loops on top. So we're gonna give this a whirl and see what it tastes like. I just wanted to do a review of my Good Guys Burger that I got at the Chucky booth. Um, I will tell you that the Good Guys Burger wasn't bad, but it wasn't the greatest. It was a bit disappointing. Um, it was one of the ones I was looking forward to, so I don't think I would get it again. But it was a donut burger with cheese sauce, jalapenos, um, had like um, pork ends on it. And it had crushed Fruit Loops with like a strawberry sauce, almost like a strawberry icing on top of the burger with the Fruit Loops. Um, it wasn't bad, it wasn't too overly sweet, but uh, the meat patty was definitely dry. And then I did get the Wanna Play Beignet, which is basically like a disfigured beignet with um, pimento cheese and a chicken blend in the center of it. And then it tasted to me like there was pork rinds on top of it. 
and they were definitely stale if that's what they were, like crispy pork rinds, which I don't, I'm not a big fan of, but um, I tried it. It wasn't terrible, but like I said, I don't think I would get it again. And then also, I did um, earlier go into the two houses. I did the weekend, and I also did the Universal Monsters house. Um, very cool house, uh, classic Monsters house. What's really cool about that is a story starts here on this coast and then ends on the other coast at Universal Studios Hollywood in California, which I wish I could make it out there to that side of the coast to do that house as well, but some other time. Um, but yeah, so really interesting story. Also, um, one of the classic monsters, a different one wins every night. So it's a little fun fact for you guys, um, but it was a really good house. I really enjoyed it. Alright, so the next scare zone here is Spirits of the Coven. So we are passing through here. Let's see how it goes. Lots of fog.
guys are wanting to get a beverage, that is where it will be located. I'm gonna go back through <laughs> Scarecrow for soil. Sorry, um, I waited to come to my car to do my outro because I did try to film an outro coming out of Universal Studios. However, um, it was quite jammed with a bunch of people and also there's a lot of dark spots. So it's very hard to get any kind of good lighting. So I am in my car now. I was actually parked in the Jaws section and uh, I'm on the very lower level. Kind of creepy. I get to my car and somebody left a whole stroller right in the front of my car. A, and in, like a, not, not, a, not a rental stroller, a whole stroller in front of my car. So I hope they're able to find it and come back and get it because I don't know what happened. But anyway, um, on that note, I just wanted to say I um, had a really good night. I definitely it was it was really hard to film through some of the scare zones just because it is so loud and it is so dark so i hope that comes through on the video for you guys okay but i definitely was able to try a few food items that i wanted to try so you know some stuff at the chucky booth the want to play beignet and the good guys burger um and i also got to try the um uh, tamales at the dia de los muertos booth which was really really good and i have the popcorn in the popcorn bucket so that was really good i have some to take home to my family so they're gonna enjoy it again the, the popcorn in the bucket was really good it's a little bit spicy so if you like spice it'll be it'll be for you and uh yeah i actually have um i'm set to come back again next sunday so i have two sundays in a row I'm very, very happy about that. And I kind of want to give you guys a perspective in the next video, because this time I did Stay and Scream. Um, and the next one, I plan on being here so that I can get in line for when the gates open and come in, just to kind of give you like two different per perspectives. They also do offer on event nights 
Express Pass, which you can purchase. I'm not 100% sure on the cost of that just simply because Express Pass wouldn't work for me. But if you are down here on vacation and you definitely want to try all of the haunted houses, uh, that might be something that would be a great idea for your, you know you and your group to to try. Um, it, it, Express Pass is pricey. I, I will tell you that because during normal business hours during the day, Express Pass you can purchase to skip all the lines for all the regular rides. So just to let you guys know that. Also, if you see like team members walking through the park with these light up glow sticks and they have like a group of people behind them, those are the people that purchase the RIP tour. Um, again, I don't have pricing on that, but I will tell you that the RIP tour is expensive. That's another thing. But if you get like a group and you guys break it down amongst yourselves that way, um, I guess it can be kind of reasonable. I've never done anything like that, but I had a great time again, got to go through a couple houses I wanted to go through. So when I come back next week, I will definitely be trying the other house that I wanted to go into. I will say every house is not for me. Um, there was only a few of them I wanted to try, but by all means, if you guys are here, you know, and you love that kind of stuff and you want to go through all the houses, that is awesome. The two that I went through was amazing. The weekend's house was amazing and the Universal Monsters house it was it was great so yep had a really great time I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys um, I do want to mention if you guys like the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also turn on your bell notification so you don't miss when I post any new videos and as always thank you guys so much for watching also don't forget to spread love and kindness and I'll see y'all real soon